y'all back again so for this video i'm in town right now hopefully y'all can hear me well i'm in the new china for this video i'm gonna be i'm in town right now and my i'm in my local downtown and we're gonna be shopping today y'all and i'm gonna bring y'all along so i feel like when i record it enhances my experience with what i'm doing and you know you just gotta let people stare because appreciate my beauty <laughs> and yeah checking out these three shops goodwill and twice but nice so right now i'm in the new china just went to the bathroom and yeah i'm excited to bring y'all along just a quick little vlog and to show y'all like my experience here i got like 86 bucks so i'm not gonna i'm just gonna be looking around see if i come across anything i like and most likely do some little purchases yeah so i'm bringing y'all along it's such a beautiful day yeah such a beautiful day i love being downtown because there's so many like cute little clothing shops and just stuff to do yeah so how y'all doing today hmm. it's a blessed day and i would say like i got reminded yesterday to do do whatever you, you authentically want to do because people are gonna say stuff stuff regardless people are gonna have their opinions regardless so just keep focusing on you babes <laughs> babes oh look at that okay uh she reminded me with my old friends you know you can still appreciate stuff for what they are yeah so i'm just gonna oh girl a little itchy down there <laughs> <laughs> a little itchy down there it's so nice y'all i'm not cold but this that's lake bemidji yeah it's kind of cold i'm gonna go to goodwill though right now and that's the lake really pretty color so i'm gonna go to goodwill right now i'm on my way there and yeah it's such a beautiful day out it's a wonderful smuggleful and I'll let y'all know if I find anything I like. Yeah. So I'm looking for like clothes to enhance my femininity. So I'm just looking around. Haven't found found some cute stuff, but I'm just gonna keep looking. Uh, I'm in this cute little room, this bathroom. Gotta go numero dos, but like it's so cute. Yeah, I'm so thankful. Ooh, I'm so thankful I can even get to like shop and get stuff. But this is cute, you know, a little neutral, basic like color. Yeah, I can style this. All right, yeah, I just got out of Goodwill. Spent like forty bucks, <laughs> and like I'm on a time limit. Time limit as well. So I'm kind of hurrying because I'm trying to get to this other store. This other little thrift store that this nice lady told me about. <laughs> so yeah, I'll keep y'all updated and I'll show y'all my clothes later because they didn't have like a um at the goodwill they closed down there. There's little um fitting rooms. I was in the bathroom to like try them out because I seen that it was closed. But yeah, I'll check it out, I'll explain later. <laughs> So here are the first pants. It's giving like namaste. <laughs> Ready for meditation. They're really comfortable, so I might keep these. These are so cute, but they're pretty long. Like on the, the ends. It's giving like 80s, like yeah. Yeah, these are really cute. I don't know if I should keep these or not. <laughs> It's pretty long. It's like, who cares? Who cares? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna return the pants that I didn't show y'all because they didn't fit. Yeah, I go well, so I'm going back. I've been hearing symphonies. 
Hey y'all. So I got these earrings as well. They're so cute. I know my nuts. I pierced my ears myself and they're still healing. This one is like A OK though. Oh, my eyes are kind of like uh, irritated, low key. Being, being a high vibe, high vibrational frequency of gratitude. Yeah. But I really love these. They're so cute. I just love hoops, like, especially like this. They're so cute. And then I also got this necklace. Also got this necklace. This beautiful necklace. It has pearls. And I'll show y'all close detail. So that's kind of like the detail. Can you see it? Hello, girl. Here, I'll show y'all. Today has been great so far. Just like, just a... Just some um... Alright y'all can see that right Y'all can see that but, uh, Yeah really pretty It has it all around But just some intrusive thoughts Like I'm getting over it though With, with the Holy Spirit I know I'm being filled with love and light Alright y'all So this is what I got yesterday I got these cute pants <laughs> Yeah, they're really cute. I don't know if they go well with this though, like... I just don't... I don't know what can go with this, I gotta think good. But I got these pants. And then I got this... Like the little like namaste pants, I would say. My opinion. <laughs> My opinion they're pretty cute they're pretty comfortable like it's a little design i've been getting more colorful things and more design things homegirl keeps this is jinx once i had a camera once i had a camera this is jinx okay girl and then i got this cute little vest just a little yeah I got this the other day from Ben Franklin. Mm -hmm. But I hope you enjoyed going out with me into town. I had a time limit. I was literally there for like an hour and 20 minutes in, in that little area downtown. She deserves it all. She makes me believe I'm worth something. I seen this great like motivation like support from this girl online but i've seen it on instagram and it was just like to add on like being in public and like doing what you want authentically you know doing what you're thinking about doing like you gotta just do it authentically you and don't care about other people's opinions like genuinely like when i was in new china like you know because it's a moment in time for them and you know, I might come up at dinner or whatnot, you know, might come up, but it's a moment in time for them. And it's like just you expressing yourself like everybody is doing their own thing, doing their own journey on their own journeys. So keep doing news, babes, like genuinely just keep keep attracting what you are meant to become, girl, because you know it. I know it like let's do it yeah oh and that was just like an example of like it might come up like in a time of their life or it might not like you can't assume things like y'all should y'all gotta like oh putting y'all on because the four agreements be impeccable with your word don't take anything personally don't assume and always do your best so it was Second Corinthians John story, I'm pretty sure she said. So here I'll just show y'all like what I'm talking about. But she explains it in such a great way. What we're going to be talking about today is what the grace of God looks like in the harder times in our life. Today we are in Second Corinthians 12 and we are going to be reading Han, 7 through 10. So to keep me from becoming proud, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger from Satan to torment me and keep me from becoming proud. Three different times I begged the Lord to take it away, 
Each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. That is why I take pleasure in my weaknesses and in the insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. For when I am weak, then I am made strong. And I just love this. Notice that Paul had a thorn in his flesh or a personal messenger sent from Satan to torment him or like we don't even know the full picture of what's going on with Paul right now. We don't even know like the weight of what he's actually dealing with. He's just kind of hinting to the idea that he's dealing with a hard situation, a thorn in his flesh that he's asked God to remove and God has denied him three times to remove that, that thorn and God responds to that is my grace is sufficient. But what exactly does that look like in this situation? A lot of us would picture that God's grace would mean taking the thorn out of my flesh. Take this pain away from me. I don't wanna deal with this anymore. But I think what God is trying to show us through Paul is that sometimes grace is being given to us even when we're dealing with hard situation, situations and here's why. You know how they say like, Oh, if to you can feed a man one day by giving him a fish, or you can teach him how to fish and feed him for an entire life. And I think that's what God is kind of trying to show us through this word. Yes, there are great gifts that God can give us, and there are things that God can take away from us in miracle and miraculous ways. But I think sometimes God lets us go through the harder things because he wants to teach us how to deal with those things ourselves. Kind of character building, but also understand that god has grace for you in those situations in a loving way as well he knows what you're going through he's feeling it with you and he's loving you through it and even if he doesn't take you directly out of this situation that does not mean his love doesn't exist for you he just wants to make you a greater version of yourself so go ahead and feel some of god's grace today so yeah when i was like learning about like the meaning of deserved and like trauma like I was just like, I felt that intention of looking for that one specific answer. But no, it's not about that. Like, it's about like being open to like accepting love and like, yeah, it's just being open minded to an actual solution and not just looking for one specific answer because. I was just praying to God just re just like a little bit ago. Just got done praying and I was just like praying to God like about how like it was just that feeling of looking for just one specific answer towards like he towards like I'm attracting, you know, love with my thought energy and I know I am and I just was looking for one answer how to like how I'm learning from that and it's like it's not really per se you learning from me because that just gets you just deep within that and that's like how the devil works like it's, that's literally how like even with false spirituality like i gotta talk to y'all about that because yeah i'm gonna get more into that and, like film a video about that but yeah it's just like the devil has disguised himself as the lamb but in reality it's like a wolf so in the Bible, that's a metaphor, like the wolf is disguised as a lamb because to literally to not operate out of the spirit. And that's the devil's work. So we got to be really cautious about that. And I'm so I thank God for that, that I really am. And we got to really just be mindful of that truly and and just keep choosing good and like we keep focusing on the good because you know i was just like had that feeling of just like learning from it but it's not you know our minds like obviously we could learn from it the negative like obviously we can we could understand it and find the reason why and like i know my reason why the way i'm thinking but and especially if it turns into a cycle then it's difficult to get out that cycle and that's what happened to me and now I'm just like healing with the Holy Spirit and focusing on God's word and like I'm more abundantly doing that than I've ever like done before. And I've been like, you know, slacking off a little bit and 
yeah, it's like no excuses. I know tomorrow it's going to be more obedient. And it's actually like 2 a.m. right now. It's the 8th. Yeah, the 8th of March. So I know, you know, when I wake up, I'm going to be more obedient. I got to first, actually, I got to do school. And yeah, and I know I'm going to get into God's word and presence because I already really do feel like I'm in God's presence, and I'm so thankful for that. Like, I thank you, God. You really are fulfilling me. And another thing I learned from my sister in Christ is that God knows. When he makes us, he knows. Like, and I don't want to I don't want to keep calling him just he, because obviously he refers to Heavenly Father in the biblical, but it could be she, they, them. Like, I understand, like, how I said before, like, he refers to that because he's more of a structure and obedience and protective like and that's very like that's masculine energy but it goes to show he's emotional as well like he supports us he nourishes us she nourishes us so it's like it doesn't really matter i know that religious people really look as god it depends on what religion you're in but look at christianity looks at god as a key yeah, but I'm getting over that and just, like, really, truly just, like, talking about God, you know, just how God is, like. So even, like, just saying, like, randomly, like, she, you know. But what was I saying anyways? <laughs> but, like, what my sister in Christ was saying, that God, like, she would literally, like, I thought I was talking about my sister in Christ, like, when I said she, but I was talking about God. Kind of caught me off guard as well, because I'm so used to calling God him or he. So, like, God willingly, that's what I, I was referring to God when I said she. So, yeah, that I feel like, yeah, it gets really complicated if we just refer to, like, God as different pronouns and such, but no, like, no pronouns can, like, live up to God's, like, identity. Chooses what we're, if we're going to be a believer, if we're going to operate out of the spirit, or if we're not, like, if we're meant to not do that. So, like, we're predestined, like, everything we do and our, all our actions, God understands, God knows. So, like, that was just a way, like, a really good, great way to look at it that, some of us are meant to are meant to just not be believers and just to be like just to go down there and that's how it's predestined and I know I'm meant to go in heaven and like that's why I have such strong faith like through these like obstacles and even understanding like labels and how like labels ultimately like they limit they limit you like they really do even Christianity like it literally says Christ in there and like I feel like it's more sometimes people worship Jesus more than the actual one God. I'm here to express that and you know be I know it's like como se dice it's controversial but like that's what I'm here for girl like boys <laughs> and yeah so really stay tuned with that and i'm open i'm really open to hearing people's uh, other people's perspectives that who are also open-minded and willing to ask questions and learn how i am because it really like that's how i got two of my sisters in christ like today it's just the beginning of like getting to know them and like truly and yeah i'm just so happy that God is fulfilling me and my destiny with just how it's meant to become. So it's so beautiful experience. And yeah, like don't get tripped up about like if you're meant to be like meant to be a believer or not. Because it's like truly like, you know, you know. And if you're here watching this video, it's like you pro you are like you are doing your best and learning from me on how to operate out of the spirit. So no worries on that. Just because the devil is the author of those negative energies. And even when, like, we doubt ourselves and, like, we just 
focus more on the problem than the solution you know like like how i said no excuses but it's like what is their excuses for like like no like i know i'm doing my best and i could obviously do better like and while time comes because i'm being filled with the holy spirit more abundantly and walking more righteously on this path so i'm really happy about that and yeah and literally my cat like when i started talking about like the negative energies like my cat was about to, you know climb on me and then she climbed like she put her paw back off like that's how you know girl <laughs> my cat knows what's up like it's like we really do gotta acknowledge like like my sister in christ was telling me i learned like ooh, i learned a lot from her which i'm so grateful for and we'll share with y'all and thank god for that all glory to god but like He's raven. Kangaroo. And like... <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like... I like this... I mean, it's okay lighting. Like, it's it's okay. It's kind of... It's more... It's comfortable, though. Like, hopefully... It's comfortable for y'all. I bet it's comfortable for y'all. Because it's more about the spirit. Like, and it really is more about the spirit. And like, the integrity. And what... The things that I do. And the more I record myself, the more I, like, notice the things I say a lot. So I get to fixate, like, on that. I get to adjust and, like, do things more accordingly. <laughs> She's my bestie for real. Gift from God. And also another thing, y'all, don't be cracking your bones every day. Because I be doing that. And <laughs> it's supposed to be stretching. So, like, we, when we crack our bones, it's, like, releasing air from our bones so it's like we could just stretch and it'll release it more like it'll release it more gently <laughs> my bestie i love hers so it's like really just focusing on the positive and like being open to love because love heals negative love wins overall so when you have that feeling of just looking for an answer like a direct answer to your problem like don't feel that way you gotta be open-minded and you gotta be accepting to like love and solutions so uh, the solutions for me and like the way i think is like is really like simple things that build up over time the more consistent i do do it so like meditating like visual meditation to clear up my mental for clarity and like because i do believe that you know chakras isn't directly mentioned it's not yeah, mentioned in the bible i searched so but we do have energy you know centers in our body i do believe that like i do believe that's a blessing from god that we could be more direct with ourselves and what we do so i'll glory to god for that like i, I love just saying that as well like just I can scream. <laughs> God really, God really helps me. I love God. I, I'm created God. Like I truly love that. And like once we get to heaven, we'll, I'll understand way more. And it's I'm so excited. <laughs> keep having faith, y'all, and keep focusing on like, like meditating to like have more clarity or. The other things as well as like I'm gonna be consistently like focusing on is like having obedience so like finishing my school and like I've been really great on that and as well like listening to frequencies that help me connect with God and if it's not of God it's against God and this that's truly is like and it's kind of weird to be living in a you know, world where it's, if it's, like, not of God, it's against God. But that's so true, though, because negativity has ways to get into our lives. And we got to cleanse ourselves from that. And especially if you're around it, like me, I got to, I have these boundaries that, you know, sometimes I don't, like, today, like, I was pretty drained from people's energies and, like, from somebody else's decision. But, like, it's understandable and you know i i look at things from the bright side and be like and that i just got to experience just like 
watching my little cousins and feeling their love light energy even though i wasn't even though i wasn't supposed to watch them my grandma wasn't but anyways like it's not about that it's just like i told her you know to be more responsible well to sum it up like be more responsible and watch them and yeah and another thing is like we're not always gonna say like the direct wording of things so like don't get tripped up in like the wording and like being like really really like directly truthful obviously we can remember but sometimes we can just remember the energies and like the sum up words that we're thinking of now that we said so like <laughs> so like i know i didn't say be responsible i just said some something like Something of the that sums up to that to like she has to watch them and not just fall asleep and but it's understandable and just looking at it like through a positive light like that I got to watch them and feel their love light energy and like you know I like watching kids as long as like they're they're not crying or like negative. <laughs> I felt it on my spirit from the Holy Spirit. I will get more into that, like, in one of my upcoming videos on, like, ways I feel the Holy Spirit. Because I'm still, like, continuously, like, trying to abundantly feel the Holy Spirit within me. And, yeah, I will explain more on, like, what that is and such. I felt it on my spirit that we got to appreciate the negativity for what it is. Like, it truly, like... It shows us to be more grateful for the positive, like, because we all know what bad is. So we got to appreciate for what it is that we can uh, appreciate the good more. Just words of insight, because I got to remind myself that as well. And yeah, we really do live in that world. Like, if it's not of God, it's against God, like, truly. So in other ways are like, so meditation, you could do like visual meditation, like verse meditation, you know, like meditating on verses. There's probably like different, many ways to do it. Just do your research for meditations. And as well, like is expressing your emotions and your, yeah, your emotions and even your thoughts, like even like those negative thoughts, you could just write them down and even burn the paper and i feel like that's if you do intentions like that with the intention of just releasing it it really does help it really does so and that's of god because it's like you're releasing like i feel like it's a mutual thing like you got to respect yourself and it connects with god because you're more like on a clarity frequency and more like focused like just tranquility like cleansed clarity energy because that that is of god if you have that intention of like just releasing those negatives in that way of just like burning paper and releasing it and like it's all about the intention and what we focus on so it's like it really does because it feeds into our minds and like our bodies and we are really powerful and it like not only affects us it affects the people around us and that is of god like but not all things are of god it's just like if you're not sure you 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 sh you gotta ask your family in christ and even ask me as well like is this of god like and i could all we could both do our research or like if i feel some type of way you know like i'll put my perspective out there of course like i really am here for y'all as well like really feel because i believe we could feel it depends on how like tuned into your emotions you are because I really believe God has blessed us with our emotions to feel like truth or not truth, like lies. So really just like ask God and talk to God, the Holy Spirit, like, is this really of you, God? And you will feel it the more abundantly you just keep communicating with god because it's a relationship with god like it's a connection and it's beautiful the more abundantly you do it and even like attempt to do it and if it doesn't work out that's okay you know find ways to 
I found a way that um, if you get into like a pr a praise like um, just energy, like if you're just you know praising a guy like and all that he is, and just keep co continuously doing that for some time, like it just depends on how much energy you put into it. So if you gotta you gotta really put your energy into it and like praise God and all that he is and like affirm his promises like and just keep praising God and once you're in like that praise like mode you could like communicate with God he's like an, a brother in Christ he said like he's in the room with you and like you could feel his presence more abundantly because of that praise because God is our creator like God truly deserves that praise for all that God does like it's so amazing like we're literally nothing without him and i'm like i'm happy to say that because i couldn't do it like mm -mm, i really can we we barely have the understanding of what god does we could we could just imagine and like even like um not imagine how things are like with in heaven and such or like even like we learn in the gospel how the holy spirit speaks to a uh, the believers in the gospel in the new testament and that's the ways like it's still like happening now it's just like with the, talking with the holy spirit and yeah i'm so happy and with that and talking with the spirit you get like either you can get visions you can get like words like sometimes i ask god for like the um for a verse of the day and like a verse just pops up in my head like like i just like thank god for that like truly that that happens and it actually correlates and it's so like amazing it really is or flipping to a page and pointing your finger to a verse that ooh that really helps like as well it's just about the intention and like asking god like what verse like what verse of the day you could check out um the brother in christ to actually learn that from like to praise God and be so we can communicate more abundantly. I will put it right here. Y'all got to check that out because it talks about like our message to Gen Z and also includes like different messages for just people who are watching the video in general. So yeah, check that out from him. Glory to God. And he explains, like, the Holy Spirit as well. So, in a very well way. Because the Holy Spirit was, like, talking through him. God was talking through him. And yet. Yeah. Commercial break. You have been watching. But no commercial. No free promo here. <laughs> but, unless it's actually helping people. So, yeah. So, this is break for y'all. If y'all been watching through it all you have been watching this for over 30 minutes <laughs> so go best stretch or go outside just go to get a snack go take a break from being off a screen for a little bit i got you and come back with the notebook come back so you can intake this information and yeah i will be making a full thoroughly like organized like dot to dot to dot to dot like of how i've been focusing on the good and such things as that so things i included in this video i'm gonna continuously like expressing what i do so this is just the beginning so stay tuned for that video so yeah god bless yeah i'm here for god as well god is always speaking through me right now as well so I'm really happy with how my life is going, like truly, and yeah, it's just more of my mental that I'm, you know, I'm healing with the Holy Spirit, I'm healed, and I'm feeling the love, the light energy that is, that I'm attracting abundantly, so things like that, and as well, like, Eating healthier, like eating lighter, like vegetables, fruits really help. How else? Like expressing yourself through art and like 
creativities and even your love for God as well, like creating music. Like, I love that. I love just singing about God with like instrumentals and like, or like melodies. I think that's the right word. I don't know. But like with that, I have a video up on my TikTok of just like me, like remembering a song because. So songs usually like they program in our subconscious because they're so catchy and whatnot like i can remember a lot of songs like i just want to be part of your symphony when you hold me tight and i let go like even that like sometimes i'll be thinking like i refer that to god but it's not all the time and even like i'll be switching up the lyrics be like i am a child of god yeah yeah I am loving life, spiritual being. I'm divine and close to my creator. <laughs> so I love that. My kitty's trying to sleep, but I'm sorry, Jinx. <laughs> I love expressing myself and like even talking. Like I love, I love talking about God. Truly, and I've been really operating out of spirit. Even when those times when you feel, like, down or, like, your thoughts are getting in the way, you just got to take a breather and focus on your breath. God has given us the, like, gift of breathing and just being here. Like, it's such beautiful. It's so beautiful. So that's, like, meditation as well. Or just, like, yeah, focusing on your breath and, like, being, like, just saying to yourself, like, I'm divine, like, in your mind or even out loud. Y'all, there are a lot of unused apps. Go through your apps and your storage so you could, like, express yourself. If you're expressing yourself with your, um, just, like, recording, like, how I am. Or, like, in different ways as well. I don't really, nothing come, nothing else comes to mind besides, besides like, yeah, videos, recording videos. So, like, I, my storage kept popping up. And, like, there are a lot of unused apps. And just go through them, delete them with clarity, with love. Do everything out of love. I'm so grateful and blessed that, thank God, that there's many ways for me to focus on the positivity. And for you to focus on the positivity as well. Like, even apps, like, apps that calm your mind, like, that have, like, guided meditations or, like, affirmations or motivation and yeah and even life lessons like we are really blessed and i'm so happy and like ah, i'm in the end times i don't care about what anybody got to say unless it's positive like and i'm looking at like the negative as like you know let them let them speak like i will still me and my sister in Christ, like, we're, we created a TikTok account talking, going to be talking about controversial topics that we're meant to talk about to fix a on the perception of operating out of the spirit and how to operate out of the spirit. So she made me realize that negative comments, like, like they, they, you know, they're meant to be there, you know, and we could, you know, we could respond to them and say our point of view. There's a difference between, like, just continuously giving negativity attention or to, like, just talk about it and, like, say some words of gospel. Because love wins, ultimately. So if you got something to say, God bless you. Like, it's all love. God bless you. So, yeah. that's When I say I don't care, it's not like... It's not like I don't care it's more so i'm not gonna focus on that like i'm not focusing on the negativity like you know god bless you and you know i will say my point of view and i will get my experience across and my perspective across and it's that confidence that i got and i'm also giving to y'all y'all can feel my confidence that god has blessed me with and continuously he's God is speaking through me, and I'm so happy, happy. <laughs> yeah, I just, I feel great expressing this, and 
Yeah, there are really numerous ways of just doing that. Don't like, because we are in times of like consumer, like really consumer, consuming, like consumerism. I think that's what it's called. Like where a lot of people consume things and even like don't get caught up on getting so much information. I would suggest like just going towards what feels right. Like an example, like if like meditating feels really right and you just want to get into it, just jump into it. Like guided meditations, like the more you continuously do it, the more quiet your mind is going to get, the more you're going to feel tranquility. Like you just got to hop in it, girl. <laughs> Truly. So it's like, just go for it. Take the leap of faith and you got this. I believe in you. Like, I really do believe in you. Hmm, so any more thoughts? So like, simple is more accessible. So I don't want to like overload y'all with like, you know, different ways. But there's also, you could read books. And I would suggest getting in the word with the Bible, like truly like. And obviously the more you like, like, understand this. Obviously, the more you get into God's presence, the more the enemy is going to try different things to to have you willingly return to a sinful nature. And another thing is, don't get it twisted, that the temptation of sin is not a sin. But the actual pursuit, the action of um, doing that sin is that sin, like... So you could you could have temptations but not act on it. That's not that's not um sin, but it's coming from a sinful nature. So just really be mindful and it's all it's your choice. You have these feelings, but you can it's your choice to do what you can do to these feelings. To get in with negativity like like Your spiritual warfare is going to go up. Like, the more you get more righteously, the more you get more good. Like, the bad is going to try. Try. Keyword try. But it's not. Because w- love wins ultimately. So, like, it really is. Even with your words and, like, the things that you do. Like, there are many ways. Like, the devil's not dumb. Like, so, but we're smarter, <laughs> like we really are, because we we have, we're on the winning side. Love is winning side. We are the chosen ones, ones. So, like, really, like, be, be really cautious and mindful of that. That obviously your spiritual warfare is gonna go up the more you um proceed to do things out of the spirit and out of goodness. The more you do good things, the more like the bad is gonna try to take over. But no, girl, that's not keyword try because we are strong. We are bold. We are confident. We are ambitious to our God, our Lord, our best friend, our creator. Like, so, yes, it's all about just keep continuously focusing on the positive and praise is key. Like praise to God, praise to ourselves as well. Like not more so not praise to ourselves, but more so like. More so just uplifting ourselves and uplifting God and, like, yeah, praise to God. Like, praise is key. So, I guess praise to ourselves, but I feel like it's mutual for me, like, for us, us and God. Like, we got to, um, you know, keep affirming to ourselves we're divine, we're a child of God, you know, we love God. And, like, even waking up every day and saying, like, I put all my trust in you, God, and just feeling that, like, truly, because it's about the feelings as well. Like, you can't just say something and not believe it. You got to really, like, feel it and believe it. <laughs> so, like, yeah, just really, like, I got to do that as well. I haven't been, I'm going to be doing more affirmations. Like, for example, like, I put all my trust and faith into you, God, that my good plans will work out for the better. Because God really got to us, like, truly. And for the chosen ones. And because I can't speak for everybody, girl. 
Yeah, I'm not speaking for everybody. Just like the chosen ones, like we're predestined to go into heaven and ascend. Like I'm so excited for that to see y'all out there who are the chosen ones up in heaven, like truly. And I'm grateful for that. And dang, like I could really keep going with like this as well, like. But yeah, just keep focusing on the positive. Um, simple is more accessible. So like, um, even a verse, like, you can memorize, like, it is written. Like, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, verse 13. So that really strengthens me. And I could do all things through Christ and through God and to God and Yes. So keep praising God. Keep praising her, him, they, them. Like, keep praising the creator. Like, no pronouns can live up to God and the identity, the God, the number one God that is. Also, like, um, the sword, like, so there's different like metaphorical like things like in the Bible that I actually wasn't going to share with y'all that the pastor, because pa I was talking to the pastor, my deliverance. Actually, y'all, let me get into that. I think I did get into it, but let me get more into that. Cause... So like with the pastor, like when I was at church, I was feeling like I was, f it was my first time like going to like the student programming there on, on a Wednesday. They got it and like they had food and all that, but I was feeling the spiritual warfare. Like I was feeling uncomfortable there and like I wasn't intending to, it was just more like unintentional, but I kept focusing on the positive. Like I wasn't gonna let these negative, these low vibrations get to me, even though I was kind of feeling them. Like I, I just didn't let them get to me and what I was expressing. and. Yeah, I was just telling the pastor, Pastor Todd, like, bless him. I'm so grateful for him. He said a couple prayers with me, and I just, like, before he said a prayers, like, he was just getting to know me, and, like, I was just expressing my, like, what I was going through and, like, my generational traumas and, yeah, my troubles, and I'm so grateful God has blessed me to be able to do that, and express it and release it and yeah and even if it takes numerous times to just express and release it that's key like that really is it's just continuously releasing it till you feel like it's all done and gone and like yeah and and even like if it got brought up again like you won't have those low vibration feelings of towards that subject that is negative like towards you know trauma like i don't have like obviously trauma like you know has that has that you know stereotypical thing of like negativity but it's like obviously yeah but i feel now that i've been more expressive i feel like now when i say trauma or, you know now when i think about traumas it's more like it's it's more like so now that I have this perspective that trauma is a way to that brings us ultimately close together, like truly like in a deeper way, like to appreciate life and what God is here and like and to like inspire and to heal together with love, like genuinely. God has blessed us. He brought somebody down who knew jesus christ he knew how to enhance people he showed us how to enhance ourselves spiritually like he 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 knew how to heal people he was interconnected fully with god and although he still tr struggled with temptation we all did but he didn't pursue that temptation so we even in the bible and one of the scriptures it says we could heal people with just our hands as well. Like, if we're truly like, if we truly um, 
spread the gospel and like we it's all about how far down and willing you're you put your energy into it into like really worshiping god and like feeling that interconnectedness with the spirit and having a relationship and really just truly like knowing how to heal people with the holy spirit as well yeah i've learned that there's no such thing as like duality within people or within like concepts and such thing as that with like within the world like the world is not duality but there is a specific someone who certain someone or entity and don't quote me don't quote me and just owns that energy of duality and i'm still like figuring that out i haven't done my research yet like duality is more like an energy like it's more like so I heard that, you know, I don't want to speak it like because I'm truly still figuring it out. But I, there's this one particular like person like who is like who has both them dualities at a perfect like, you know, rate of dualities like that is like mix of both negative energies and positive. But like ultimately duality doesn't like exists like we have this concept of that the world is duality but ultimately no it's not like in the bible it states this earth is the devil's playground and it like really is because there's going to be more people who are negative so it's there's no ultimately duality like duality is just a concept that limits us to like choosing and it's like damn like i really didn't realize that like till today or like yeah till today that it really is like so we have we so the good like you know us chosen and like we the good like we ultimately like we put out the truth and like you get to decide like what side you're on and if you don't decide then you that's a decision like so duality is like it's not real it's more like it's more someone someone's energy out there i'm not gonna say who because i'm still learning about it but i will let y'all know about that and because me i'm not duality like mm -mm, neither is society like I'm me I'm good like I know I'm more like you know obviously I've fallen and God has picked me back up and I'm so grateful for that I feel like me personally I look at things in a positive light like I even like with the devil like I feel like it's like see like I was just thinking like duality like God and like you know negative and positive but no it's more so you gotta choose like it's a decision making and yeah like i look at the pot negative to like ultimately we if we know the negative we can appreciate the positive more which is such a beautiful experience and that goes with everything like with the devil like how god has given like us chances and like to prove our worthiness of god's love and that's what's beautiful that we get to so God, uh, that we're worthy of God's love. Yeah, like in a more extraordinary way because we know the other side, we know uh, here on earth. And now we get to appreciate God and rejoice in a more like spectacular way. Like that is so beautiful. Like I love that. Like <laughs> genuinely, I love that. And I love how I get to ex like express this to y'all like this is more of an intimate like way and it's like getting closer with me and god the more i do this like truly i'm so thankful i get to be able to do this like i know i'm deserving of god's love to the really transparent like channel because period that's how it is girl that's how it is y'all boys and girls people family sometimes i feel like dang like how could i ever deserve this but yeah that's again that's the negativity's way to get into your life no that's not 
that's not God. God is love and light and all and unconditional love. And I really feel like that because I, I sometimes feel like that. And you got to reaffirm to yourself, like, we are children of God. Like, I'm a child of God and I'm a love, light, spiritual being because that's how I got brought into this world. And that's how I still am. And God is really understanding and knows my heart. God understands all and knows all. So keep having faith and keep showing yourself love and like just affirming to yourself that I deserve God's love. God deserves my love that I'm showing continuously, that God is showing me continuously. Like it, that is really powerful. It really is because it really uplifts me and the more y'all, the more you go down your righteous path, the more you're going to feel like, ah, like this is deserving. This, this is like the result of me putting in my works towards working out, exercising my faith. And like I've seen this thing is like whatever you offer, God offers. Really let that sink in. Like whatever you offer, God offers. Mm -hmm. So if like, yeah, it goes with, literally, though, it goes with, like, literally anything in the Bible. Because it's, like, if you offer, like, that understanding or that, you know, that belief in that. So, like, if you feel that from God, it's, like, neutral. It really is. And, dang, the more I talk about this, the more in-depth I get into it. And it's, like, the more understanding it is. And that's why I love just, like, expressing and, like, on video. God said, let there be light. And the light was good. Ooh, I look so pretty. I look so beautiful. I'm a child of God. And I got repping my indigenous culture. God bless my people, my Native Americans, and my Hispanic people as well. My Mexican people. I'm still learning about, you know, what I am. Because I got, like, I'm a quarter white as well. Well, not the specific percentages. But I'm attracting, taking a test. It's just what I was born in. I know my spirit is, like, who I truly am. I still love appreciating my races and, yeah. So, even my white side, like, poor God bless. God bless the white people. God bless all races. God bless the humanitarian like god bless all those humans so it's like mutual like if you believe that if you offer that god offers that to you like it's mutual like you gotta believe you have have faith that really goes to show like whatever you offer god offers i've been i'm so like happy because like i've been talking for an hour i think well like off and on because i've been getting my storage and yeah i'm attracting the camera and like because I firmly do am prioritizing this and bringing y'all along with my journey in these end times. And I'm so happy. Like, I'm so blessed to be in these end times and, like, to have this trait of just looking at things positivity, positively on the bright side of things, even the negative. Because there's a way. There's always a way. I love y'all and thank you. God bless people. I'm most likely going to upload this for my part two of he how God is healing my generational traumas. It was a very enjoyable experience, me being in town. So I hope y'all know the vibes. Y'all felt that too, huh? Like, <laughs> so yeah. Bless life. Bless life. Bless spiritual beings.